Hey everyone, and welcome back to News of Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And today, I'm going to give you an update on how to download some more mods for Spider-Man, specifically using the new version that was just released, the Spider-Man Tool version 1.1.0. I know that the video that I did last time was based on how to download the Black Suit mod for the Advanced Suit. That one was based on version 1.0.0. .0 .0. Ever since, it's actually been updated. So I figured it'd be best to provide you an update on how to download these new mods for your copy of Marvel Spider-Man Remastered for PC. So let's go ahead and draw our attention to my desktop. So if you go to my desktop right here, I have it ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Google Chrome because that's what I'm using. And we're gonna go ahead, like last time, head over to nexusmods.com. So nexusmods.com is where you can download the mods for your games. You're going to come up with this page like last time you're going to click on browse all files and then you're going to type marvel spider-man uh actually you know what you gotta type out the whole game yep and then it populates right here it shows up and ever since day one mods have been coming in like crazy so i'm going to go ahead and download a new mod for myself i've already managed to download a bunch of mods for myself so in this case, I haven't really downloaded this version of the Symbiote suit. I really do like the Symbiote suit a lot. And ever since they've been releasing new patches, new versions of the Symbiote suit. Also, I'm still playing Marvel Spider-Man Remastered for PC. I've already played it and beaten it several times for the PS4 and PS5. But um, if some of the mods that you see here, at least this one that I download, if you don't see that populate in my game, it's because I haven't unlocked the suit that that mod is replacing specifically. So I'm going to show you as an example, and also I'm going to do this for myself. I've uh, managed to download some nice new mods like the Tasm 2 suit, which I still think needs a little bit work. Sorry to get off track there for a second. But anyways, you're going to click on manual download. You're going to also need the Spider-Man PC modding tool. OK, um, I already have the PC modding tool. Click on download. Make sure it goes to download. You're going to get taken to this page. You're going to click on slow download. It's going to do a countdown from five seconds. And you're going to wait for that to clear out. All right. And once that's done, your window will populate showing this is the Symbio Pack 725 version one. And I'm not going to read the rest of the numbers. So you're going to go ahead and download it. And if you notice on the top here, this is my PC. It's not always the same for everybody, but it does come really close. This PC, 2 terabyte NVMe, PCI, uh, stream, uh, downloads, stream apps, common, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, Asset Archives, mods. That's the order that you're going to be able to find these files. I know it's a lot, but that's how you find the files. And this is where you download your mods. So if you want to go ahead and take a screenshot of this, so that way you don't get lost in downloading your mods, go ahead and do so. Definitely hit the pause button. So anyways, I'm going to click on save. All right. And it's downloading right here in the corner. Symbiotic suit pack. So let that download. That is the win.rar file that's downloading. So once that's downloaded, you're going to click on it and then you're going to drag it into your mods from Marvel Spider-Man. All right, once that win.raw file has finished downloading, you're going to click on it and it's going to open. Um, you're going to see this file populate right here. And these are the files that you want. These are the mods. So you're going to open a new window folder, right? I'm going to drag it over here so I can show you. You want these mods in the correct folder. It's very important that you put these mods in the correct folder so that way they can show up in your game. So for me, in this case, I put it here in a two terabyte NVMe. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to downloads. I'm going to go to Steam apps. Common. Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. Asset Archive. And then mods. This is where I put a lot of my mods away. So I'm going to take them all. Rag and drop literally just there. That's all I'm going to do. And you'll see them there. That's one step right there and how to achieve that. So once that's done, now it's important for you to actually put these mods in the game. These mods are replacing existing suits in Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. So the next thing you're going to have to do, and even though you already have a history of probably downloading mods from before, you got to do it again. That's just how this Spider-Man tool is built. So luckily, I already have the Spider-Man PC tool here. So you're going to pull it up. You're going to first off import the game's assets into this tool. So we're going to go ahead and go to file. 
select asset archive folder. Believe it or not, this version of the Spider-Man PC tool is a little bit different from the 1.0.0 version. Things have moved a little bit around, uh, whereas this used to be under create mod or something like that, but now it's under file. And also like creating the mod is under mod manager. So first you need to be able to put the game in here. So select asset archive. And of course, by default, it recognizes that it wants these asset archives right here. It recognizes the game's asset archives by default. So I'm gonna hit save. Asset archives successfully set. So once that's done, you're gonna to go to, give it a second. This is my history. So this was populated and that's why it froze there for a second. But this is my history of downloading mods in the game. So you're gonna click on add, right? Unfortunately, you cannot drag these into there. You have to manually find them. So it's not a problem. And I don't mind running it back for you once again. So let me go ahead and do that. So select your drive, downloads, once again, Steam apps, common, Marvel Spider-Man remastered, asset archive, mods, and the ones that we just finished inserting from before. So I think I can select, no, I cannot. So you can only select one at a time. So no symbiotic soup, that's the first one. Done installing the mod, but you're not exactly completely done yet. Because if you notice, the rest of these mods that are already previously installed have a check mark. That means that they're installed. So any new mods that you place in the Spider-Man PC tool will by default come in without a check mark. That is very important. I'm not done adding them, so we're gonna do it again. Add, we already did the first one here, Spectacular Spider-Man Symbiotic Suit. Let's do that. And you're gonna see like a little thumbnail of what you're getting basically, okay? So this one was the first one, that's what it looks like. This one was the second one, that's what it looks like. That's an indication that the mods have successfully been placed in the Spider-Man PC tool app. So I'm now I'm gonna add my last mod that I wanted to download, the Venom 2018 inspired symbiotic suit. That's gonna look pretty hot. So done installing mod. So that's already installed. Now, once again, you're gonna check everything because this was unchecked. This came in, you have to check it in so that way the installation can take place. So check mark it. All right, check this, select that, then check it. Hit install mods, give it time. Now this may take a little bit depending on your system and how your PC is built, but once those mods are installed, you're pretty much all good to go. You're gonna open Marvel Spider-Man Remastered right after this. All right, so sometimes you may get this little error, Microsoft.net framework, you know, that happens. Before that was an actual problem in the last version of the Spider-Man PC tool app. Just simply hit continue and it'll run as normal. So it'll say successfully installed Spider-Man mods. That just happens on my PC. Maybe for you, you may not get that error, but don't worry about it, disregard it. So the next thing we're gonna do is open up Marvel Spider-Man Remastered for PC. Okay, now that once you've installed all the mods, be sure to open up Marvel Spider-Man Remastered for PC. I'm gonna go back to my file here, continue, load up your game and watch, you'll see your mods installed finally. And I fell through the map, but you can tell that it did work. And I fell through the map again, and you can tell that I did it did work. I, I don't know why I keep falling through the map. It's a funny glitch to see, also seeing other things like falling with me. I don't know why the map is loading, not loading. Looks like Insomnia Games and Nixus Software needs to work out some of the bugs, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I understand why the map was failing like that. And I think it may have something to do with installing three of the same mods, even though they are different in appearance, actually the mods are applied to one single suit, which is why every time I kept restarting the game, I kept falling through the map. So you learn something new every time you try something. So here, let me explain. So you go to the suits and this is the mod I was trying to install and I already got it installed and it worked. But if you notice, in that example that I was doing, I was installing three of the mods that were all symbiote suits. One of them was the null symbiote suit, which was like, you know, red where like the spider logo is. And the other one was a different version of the suit. And then you're looking at this version of the suit. You can't be installing three mods that affect one suit because I think it's going to cause your game to crash. But anyways, that's pretty much it. As you can see here, the mod has successfully been installed and it works like a charm. And there you have it, guys. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I 
you know you probably wouldn't be rest assured knowing that like my spider-man keeps falling through the map in new york city but trust me it's fine uh it's a simple glitch it's actually happened on one of my live streams but i'll be sure to fix it anyways in no time as always guys thank you all so much for watching hopefully this video has been very helpful and somewhat entertaining until next time guys thank you all so much and i'll see you all next time peace out